probably takes a little bit to get on my phone. Yeah, it'll take about 18 seconds. So if you start, are, are you seeing it yet? Yep. Oh, good. Well, you just let me know when I you should. You see my thumbs up? There's a floating up there. Oh, yeah, I see that. All right. Carolyn Spencer's on. Oh, nice. Hi, Carolyn. Or Carol. Carol? Carol. Yes. Going to show pictures of the garden tonight. Ah, uh, Aaron, I wondered if you were going to be on. John's with us. Yep. Hi, John. Yep, John's there. Linda Sue's there, Brown. All right, you want me to run the intro? Yep. All right. Hi, Brenda. Good evening. Yeah, Aaron, it's hot as hell here. Hey, Gina. Bud's on his phone. Hey, I want to tell Jennifer. Let me get around this way. Bachner and her hubby, thank you for my uh, little treat. I got a 12 pack of different beer, a uh, six pack of New Glarus uh, spotted cow. Uh, at about 6.30 in the morning. I didn't drink any then, <laughs> but I got it then. <laughs> Heidi? Oh, we got a whole bunch of people. Pat Cleary's with us. Linda Sue Brown's with us. Hi, Linda. It's kind of been funny because on Fridays, about 4 to 4.30, I usually leave, or if I'm coming from work, I stop at Mike and Oh, now oh, I can't remember her name. We'll just stand up because I'm like hunched oh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Hi, Pat. Nice music, they said. Cool. Hi, Pat. Judy, Mike and Judy's house. And I, and I always have a story for him. Always have a story for him. And uh, uh, get him laughing, slam a quick beer, and then... Uh, uh, I'm on my way home, so it's been a tradition probably for the last oh six weeks. He keeps the beer stocked in the fridge for me, so because he knows I don't drink light beer. <laughs> uh, so tonight we're going to do a couple things. We're out here at our little pad. We call it the pad. It's where we're going to test our baskets. And uh, Lisa's doing a test on the baskets, and she futzes with the baskets in the morning while I'm gone watering at the shop. And then when we come home, we either start doing some stuff at, uh, uh, in the garden here, or uh, uh, we do uh, on Thursday and Fridays, we've got work to do for the shop and that. So anyway, what we're going to do, and Lisa's going to talk about some of this stuff, because I haven't been doing shit out here. Except watering. <laughs> All I've been doing is watering. Yeah. And you can tell that in this heat, everybody needs to be watered, even uh, we do. I tell you what, it's been very oppressive. Uh, the guys got done today downtown about, I shouldn't keep saying guys because Ansley's a girl. Guys and girls got done downtown today about quarter to two. And it was really hot. I mean, that was about five hours on the asphalt in full sun. Uh, 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 it was about all they could handle and uh, they got a lot done today so uh, it's nice but these are baskets that Lisa tried uh, different aspects with and this is one of the things you you want to do that she does in the morning like right here look in here let me get in there see the spent blossoms no I see your hand yeah the spent blossoms in there and all you got to do is pluck them they pluck off real easy that's one thing and then she's got a little basket over here that she's been putting them in. Oh. So you can do that. All my work right there. Whoop. The gimbal's going nuts. 
It wants to show me. Okay, see ya. See ya, gimbal. And these baskets are really nice because you can swivel them. And you can kind of see where the blossoms are spent. And I don't know if she's been doing any pruning or not. Yeah, well, no, I haven't started. I wanted to talk about why we have these three. These were um, uh, baskets that right during the week of Mother's Day. Uh, lodged. They start lodged. They, they, they were lodging, which was, uh, they started splaying. And so there was, there's one, two, three, and I did three different things with them. I have this one here that has grown out of its haircut. It had a moderate haircut. And I did this the first week of May. And then the second one over here, not gonna be able to see because the, I did nothing to. So I wanted to test to see if when a basket um, starts lodging, if it recovers. So this one here, if you can hold that. The only thing that we have here is just something that's a little bit leggy i haven't touched it there's been no trimming on this and i don't I think, think it part looks of bad it, part of it has to do with the fact that this uh cinnamon cinnamon petcoa is a really good plant um it seems to recover as opposed to what we're noticing hold on um the uh, moonstruck tends to want to splay and then it needs a little pruning help so this basket here, I did nothing to. And again, this one here, I just trimmed um, moderately. And then the third one, this baby here. I'll do my Vanna. Oh, good job, bud. This one here, I really whacked back. And so you can see, you can still see the bottom of the basket. It does, to my eye, have a little bit of a tighter form than the other two but really for the most part at this point for one I learned we can whack them back a little more heavily which we're gonna do next year we'll we'll be pruning more frequently but uh, here again I want to point this out I don't know how happy I am with the, the poor moonstruck because it's collapsing in that middle here um, but I wanted to show you really when I go to prune what I do I'm, I think I'm going to just give this to you because I can't really do <laughs> two things at once. <laughs> God. Can you guys oh, see me? Gosh. Am I in view? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, your eye is in view. Oh. Okay. So oh, I got to turn it around. Oh, okay. So can you see me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sound like the who. All right, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera, so I'll do my best. Um, these are like two things that I have grown to really absolutely love. One, can you, am I in there? Good. Our um, tweezers. I just what do you use them for? I just for? tweezed my hair. What do you um, use tweezers for? I'll, I'll, I'll show it. And then the other one are um, some really, really nice pruners that make it easy because they're longer this way. Makes it easier to get into the plant that's why these are long too. So usually when I go in, let's see if we can find one here that's, um, stuff with the Petcoa, these are easy enough to just pull by hand, but sometimes, I'm gonna get my bucket. Sometimes I wanna get in there. So if, can you get that in there and see like there's stuff that's a little more deep in there. And if I don't wanna, mess around with collapsing like what Bud's doing, just be, you know, manhandling the basket. I'll get in there with the pruners so or the, the- Fingers uh, do the same purpose, see? They do. We, we argue about this all the time. Yeah, I can but, do it faster. You know, there's there's something, for, for me, um, this is actually- The process. A part of the fun and it's relaxing. And so I'll come out here, you know, this morning I was out here at five in the morning watering and just kind of grabbing whatever, I don't make it a big, huge project, but just grabbing whatever kind of spent blossoms I can see. But the one thing, I haven't done any more pruning here, and I wanted to show you guys something that I kind of learned over this spring when I was paying better attention. We had opportunity to pay better attention. So I was paying better attention to how we can prune these things effectively and still not really lose a lot of bloom. So like I could come in if I wanted, let's say, 
this is not exactly the one to, to do it on. How about we do it on that one that I wanted to prune anyway? Okay, so this one has got some irregularity. It's I not, hate this freaking gimbal. It's not really bad. It's a piece of shit. But I could come in, and if you go to, to prune, you're always going to want to come in at a joint. So Keyword can, joint. So the thing that I like about this is that I've stopped. This is the growing part here. A little lower. Well, you can move you the go. camera, too. Oh, this thing's a piece of junk. <laughs> I hate the gimbal. Well, you could tell he doesn't like doing that stuff. Anyway, no. this is the growing joint here. This is going to be continuing to grow, and it has put out a bud here. Here's the, a bud for the next go around, and then they split. So what I did when I pruned right here... I still get the, the interest of holding on to that flower. I mean, I could go in there more radically if I wanted to, and I could take it further down. Off it comes. But this is a good way to promote um, additional blooming because there's these plants are using a lot of energy in order to produce all of these buds. And if you stop them a little bit and give them a rest, especially this freaking moonstruck um, they'll branch a little better for you they'll bloom a little better something like this if it got real serious and it and it looked unsightly I might come in you know maybe drop it down about a third and I might lose uh, lose a flush of bloom but it might be worth it if I feel like the habit on this basket is just too crazy. Um, I really like the freaking action on this gimbal. <laughs> just stand still. <laughs> freaking thing doesn't stand still, it freaking moves. So pruning is something that um, you could do throughout the season. And uh, if you just kind of make it something that's part of maybe a morning ritual, you know, I bring my coffee out here, I got my little table and uh, I don't make a big hairy deal about it, but it helps if you can pick spent flowers and then um, give it a haircut every now and then if you need to. And these things are awesome. They're yeah, actually um, bonsai she, shears. She freaking trims everything under the sun. I'm going to trim your mustache. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, and when you fall asleep, I'll be trimming uh -huh. your mustache. Mm -hmm. So that's about it for for trimming and just keeping it in shape like this one I want so badly but I'm just gonna let it be because I just want to see what it does by itself but if I were to be trimming this one I would probably take this up just to neaten it up a little bit sorry shall we talk about watering a little bit yeah especially now watering is is uh, you know first off you don't want to just assume mother nature is gonna do the watering for you yeah. um, thunder again today and did it rain no yeah, I might take this one down, hang it in my little spot. For what? So we could. It's hard for harder for me to water when oh, they're up high like okay. this. All right. Oh. Okay. So when I picked this basket up, I watered this thing at five this morning, and I kind of have an idea of what it feels like when it's popcorn dry. Um, and today was what ninety three. Ninety four or five. Ninety four or five. Um, these baskets have been growing since February, so they're fully fully rooted out into the basket and I could you could tell a couple ways you could feel you get used to what the weight of your basket is Linda. and then uh, the other way to, to test is to stick your finger in there if you can if it's not too dense and you can still get into the basket well you know the way I used to water with is, is like I used to it just could use a drink lift lift this up like this and then put the hose in it right I'm gonna grab the hose Okay. But with the petunias, sometimes you might need to prune or prune water twice a day in this kind of weather. And we're trying a new fertilizer out too. And if this works out, we're going to be getting some uh, in small sizes for the homeowners, and it's specifically for petunias. So well, I know I'm going to catch a bunch of shit for my filming ability on this thing. That's okay, bud. You do plants well. Yeah. So I like I like using um, these little drams, and they've got these nozzles on them that put out um, a fairly oh bud, where's my water? 
I don't know. I don't I know why I don't it's on pressure. slow. I don't know why it's on slow. Hmm. Maybe there's a kink in it somewhere. Did you turn it? No, no. Well, come back here. You're you're filming. Well, <laughs> do, what do you want me to do? Check the water or you want me to film? You got a choice. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out is that, you know, all day long, water that's in this hose has been cooking in the sun. And so every time I turn it on, I check and I wait to see or to feel that the water is no longer... Uh, hot and it's pretty hot because you don't want to scald your plants i think you don't have the water all the way open up there it could be it doesn't matter so that feels pretty good yeah and so yeah you're getting me all wet oh poor baby so yeah you could go if you can if you don't uh damage your basket you could do it the way bud was talking about which would be 